Janet pranked me, now I counter prank her at the counter. Good evening and welcome to the 20th Annual Directors Guild of Canada Awards Gala. I am your MC for the evening, Ziad Ek. You may know me as Omar from Kim's Convenience. Unfortunately, Kim's is no longer around. Like everything in Toronto, Appa's little corner store is now a cannabis dispensary. I have to say, when they asked me to MC this distinguished event, I got pretty nervous. I mean, me, standing alone in front of Canada's best filmmakers, it's, it's any actor's dream. If you don't notice me shaking under the pressure, it's only because the camera department put me on a gimbal. So. But I was also honored, MCing the 20th anniversary edition of the DD, DGC Awards. That's, that's like the hottest ticket in town. Right, so we're still not quite back to normal, but hey, like Noah's Ark, I have gathered them two by two, six feet apart. <laughs> Looks like Squid Game in here, but without the promise of prize money. I predict Sonia Smiths will be the last one left alive. <laughs> of course, we're here tonight at the Globe and Mail event space. I wanna thank our hosts and our hardworking crew. Just look at the magnificent cityscape behind me. We've got an unobstructed view of millions of people no longer consuming print media. <laughs> now, it's been another incredible year for our industry. We've had so many excellent Canadian productions, many of which are nominated tonight. There is Sugar Daddy, about a struggling musician desperate for cash who turns to sex work. The Righteous, about a former priest who turns to Satanism. And All My Puny Sorrows, about two sisters, one of whom is obsessed with ending her life and the other unable to come to grips with this decision. You know, the bubbly, heartwarming fare we've come to expect from Canadian film. <laughs> they were really made sadness into a film genre. In TV, we're welcoming back some favorites. It's the final year in nomination for Kim's Convenience. We, uh, thank you. We have Kathleen Robertson joining us tonight from the coming season of The Expanse, nominated for a fifth straight year. And we have Heartland, nominated in its 15th season. I don't know about you, but uh, I think the horses have been phoning it in the last couple of years. <laughs> On that note, I'd like to welcome to the stage a man who has all the qualities of a successful filmmaker, vision, leadership, people skills, and the ability to do this with his fingers. <laughs> Please welcome President of the Directors Guild of Canada, Warren Sonoda. Thank you, Ziad. Uh, welcome, everyone, to this uh, second ever virtual DGC Awards. Thank you to our presenters who have joined us in the room. We're in a room together. Uh, and to the nominees and viewers joining us online from across the country. Bonsoir tout le monde. Uh, I would like to start by acknowledging the traditional indigenous lands that we all live and gather on today. Here at the Globe and Mail, we are in Toronto. 
on the traditional territories of the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Huron Windat, the Anishinaabeg, and the Haudenosaunee peoples. And while our honorees are gathered at many locations across Canada, we each enjoy the privilege of living and working within an Indigenous territory. As a gesture of appreciation for our use of these lands, I would ask that you join me in acknowledging the people who have lived and thrived uh, in these regions across the continent for tens of thousands of years. And also, on behalf of the Directors Guild of Canada, I would like to extend our deep condolences to the family and loved ones of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, who passed away this week following an onset incident in New Mexico. And we send our hopes for a full recovery for director Joel Souza. Our thoughts are with everyone affected by this devastating tragedy. Yes, we, 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 we send our love to them. So this brings us to the last two years. We've seen our industry shut down, restart. We had to radically change how we work and create to keep each other safe in a global pandemic. Notice the six feet apart here. Um, even masked up in this, uh, this dis distance, we had to keep pushing for fair working conditions, for diversity and inclusion, for sustainability, for support for our sector from Ottawa. And we've worked hard for that. Life did ground to a halt, but the world did not stop. In fact, all the while we've kept creating. Uh, so now, it's absolutely fitting to take a moment right now to celebrate that work that we've done. Some of, uh, some of tonight's nominated works were shot in the before times, before COVID, uh, some during. One was even shot in Wuhan, China, uh, within the city, in the grips of the first lockdown. Uh, congratulations to the nomination, Young. Uh, tonight's works were made in vastly different conditions, exploring an endless variety of themes and lives, but they were made with the same creativity, commitment, and ingenuity and passion uh, that we've always had. Please join me in applauding them now. Congratulations to all the nominees. I'd also like to thank the jury members uh, all across the country for their diligent examination of our work, and our amazing awards chair, Manny Danilon, who put, to, who put together this fabulous show. And I, thank you, Manny. Uh, and I want to thank our entire team at the Guild for designing and reimagining this edition of the awards. So last year, the first ever live streaming DGC awards won the Canadian Special Events Award for Best Online Awards Show. So these are officially the award-winning DGC awards. Let's get on with the show. Thank you, Ziad. Slap shots or sirens, crime babies are digging for dinosaur bones. Our nominated teams made every one of these sounds feel real. The nominees for best sound editing comedy or family series are Working Moms, Dino Dana. Odd Squad, Mobile Unit. And Private Eyes. And the winner is? Private Eyes. Congratulations to the team. Hi, everyone. First of all, we want to thank the DGC for this incredible honor and for having us virtually this year. And thank you to our peers who recognized the hard work we put into this show. We want to thank everybody who has worked on the show for the past five years. Um, and we also want to thank Cindy Sampson and Jason Priestley for your incredible charm in bringing the characters of Angie and Jade to life. We also want to thank our team and friends who our company has worked with over 10 years. Thank you to Sean Piller, Neil Shaw, Jan Dutton, Susan Alexander, Tashi Beeler, and everyone at E1. Uh, thank you to our mixed team over the years, Paul Williamson, Alfie DiPuccio, and Adam Raleigh. Um, and to our team who came together over the seasons to create the sonic world of the show, Alan Gray, Jesse and Rob, thank you. Thank you. Hi. 
Whether it's the cut that makes you jump or lingering on a soulful stare, picture editors, as much as anyone, create the moments we remember in film and television. The nominees for Best Picture Editing, Comedy or Family Series are Daniel Sadler, The Hardy Boys. Eamon O'Connor, For Heaven's Sake. Aaron Hansen and Lee Walker, Kim's Convenience. Mariana Corey, Working Moms. And the winner is Mariana Corey, Working Moms. Mariana asked me to accept this award on her, on her behalf. Congratulations, Mariana. From the hockey rink to a witch's grove, these four production designers brought to life both the otherworldly and the everyday. The nominees for Best Production Design Comedy or Family Series are Zoe Sakalarapulo, The Bold Type. Lisa Soper, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Danielle Sahoda, Working Moms and Tim Bider, Private Eyes. And the winner is Lisa Soper, The Chilling Hi Adventures everyone. of Sabrina. Hi everyone, thank you so much. Congratulations, Lisa. <laughs> I'd also like to thank... Hi everyone, thank you so much. <laughs> First of all, I'd love to thank my fellow nominees. I'd also like to thank the DGC for putting together these fabulous awards. I'd also like to thank my crew, whose tireless efforts put together this incredible show, uh, and Roberto for giving us the opportunity to work on such an incredible show, and our wonderful cast as well, uh, that without them, this wouldn't be possible. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best. Hope to see you all again in person soon. Take care. Uh, from sitcoms to sketch comedies, tonight's four nominees, four of my very best Asian friends and our uh, Italian pal Viv, um, each have found a global following and shown the world once again, Canadians are damn funny. The nominees for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Comedy Series are Viv Caldellini and Joyce Wong, Baroness Von Sketch Show. Sharon Lee, Kim's Convenience. Alicia Young, Working Moms. <laughs> Justin Wu, Kim's Convenience. <laughs> and the winner is Viviano Cottolini and Joyce Wong, Baroness Von Sketch Show. <laughs> Congratulations. The Baroness, it was such a huge honor to work for you guys thank and you. work with you guys. Absolutely. And thank you so much to Frantic Films and to Sally, Sally and, and uh, Justin and Markian, Marky and Nick, Nick, Chris, yes, um, Mariana, Mariana, uh, Morgan, Morgan, the mics, the mics. Okay, I think that's everybody, yeah. and especially the DGC yeah. for voting for us and making us winners. We feel like winners. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations, Viv and Joyce, and thank you, Mr. President. No problem. And now to announce the uh, Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Family Series, please welcome from Northern Rescue and the upcoming final season of The Expanse, Kathleen Robertson. Hi. So what's a brand new series or a Canadian favorite in its 15th year? Each of tonight's nominees for Family Series embodies a level of quality 
and creativity that makes our industry proud. The nominees for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Family Series are Lisa Soper, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, <laughs> Melanie Orr, The Hardy Boys, Chris Potter, Heartland, Anthony Q. Farrell, The Parker Andersons. And the winner is Melanie Orr, The Hardy Boys. Congratulations, Melanie. Wow, uh, thank you. Uh, I am so honored to win this award. Thank you very much to all of my fellow DGC uh, members for voting for me. To everybody that I'm nominated with in this category, your brilliant minds astound me, and it's an honor to be part of this with you. So this episode of Hardy Boys was a special one for me, and I'm really uh, proud of the work that I did on this. I had an amazing team to collaborate with. First off, for Joan Lambert and Jason Stone for having me as part of the team. To the amazing words that I got to direct from Jay Veda, uh, your scripts are beautiful. Fraser Brown, our talented DOP, and our two camera operators, Scott Baker and Rob Barnett. And of course, my killer first AD, Matt West, and our wonderful editor, Anna Yavari. To the cast, I love you all so much, uh, and I'm grateful to be a part of the team. I also want to thank Lou and Webb, who gave me my first directing gig. Thanks for encouraging me to direct, and you were right, I do love it. And of course, my wonderful husband, Brent, and my wonderful son, Ellington, for supporting me and allowing me to do what I love. Love you all. Thank you. Congratulations, Melanie. And now, to present the award for Best Short Film, you've seen him getting up to no good on Anne with an E and trying to kill Bob Odenkirk in the hit film Nobody. Please welcome Araya Mangesha. Alrighty, in honor of the category, I'm going to keep this introduction brief. The nominees for Best Short Film are <laughs> Zoe Pelcha Willette, Loon. Josephine Anderson, On Falling. Michael Hanley, You Will Still Be Here Tomorrow. Wayne Mengesha, Georgina. Hannah Mickelson, Ingredients. And the winner is. Oh, wow, uh, thank you so much, DJ. Hannah Mickelson, Ingredients. <laughs> Congratulations, Hannah. <laughs> oh, wow, um, thank you so much, DGC, and all my fellow DGC members. Um, I want to thank my good friend, Paul Carreri, for writing this amazing script and allowing me to bring it to life. To Jennifer Hoffler and Catalina Kovexis, thank you for producing this with me. Uh, to Daniel Maslani, Eileen Lee, and Daniel Jun, thank you so much for bringing these incredible characters to life. You are all so talented, and it was such an honor to work with all of you. To the amazing cinematographer, Dustin Black, thank you. You are such a talent, and I cannot wait to work with you more in the future. To our editor, James Vanderwater, uh, my designer, Rachel Dodderman, composer Nick Storing, and to all of the other crew members who helped make this project happen. I could not have done it without all of you. You are all amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you, DGC family. Congratulations, Hannah. And now, to present the award for Best Sound Editing, Movies for Television and Miniseries, from the acclaimed CW series Riverdale, please welcome Zoe de Grand Maison. Our next nominees made dinosaurs roar and crowds of thousands go wild, with, uh, all with the click of a mouse and the push of a slider. The nominees for Best Sound Editing, Movies for Television, and Miniseries are Dino Dana, the movie, <laughs> Faith Heist, <laughs> Salt and Peppa, <laughs> and Two for the Win. The winner is Salt and Peppa. 
Alan Fong, Jesse Gillingham, Gray Alleter, Melissa Hinton, Holly Greenlee, and Ryan e Ellie, sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. For watching this, that means we've won, which is uh, crazy. Um, thank you. Uh, our team at Parachute has been working tremendously hard for a really long time, and to have that recognized by our peers, um, it really means a lot. Um, we want to thank everyone involved in making this phenomenal movie happen. Uh, Mara Van Peebles, uh, super cool director, thank you. Um, Steve Salmos, our producer, thank you for always supporting our team. Everyone over at Sony. Michael Beard, our affable post-supervisor and friend. Uh, John Dykstra and Paul Schubat, our mixers at Formosa and the whole team over there. Diane, our picture editor. Um, and of course, uh, the rest of our team who I share this award with. Alan, Mel, Holly, Gray, Ryan, thank you. Yeah, we do. He's not... Congratulations. And now... To present the award for Best Picture Editing Movies for Television and Miniseries, the five-time DGC Award-nominated editor from shows like Snowpiercer, The Expanse, and Anne with an E, please welcome Jillian Truster. Thank you. The challenges faced by the nominees in our category range from recreating the joy of the holiday season to rewriting a tragic and infamous tale. The nominees for Best Picture Editing, Movies for Television, and Miniseries are Hugh Elchuk, I Was Lorena Bobbitt, <laughs> Courtney Goldman, Dino Dana, The Movie, <laughs> Stephen Philipson, Faith Heist, <laughs> Ryan Kovac, The Christmas Setup. <laughs> and the winner is. Courtney Goldman, Dino Dana the movie. Congratulations, Courtney. Thank you so much, DGC, and to everyone who voted. A huge thank you to JJ Johnson, who made this whole thing possible. As well to Kristen Sims, Carla, Blair, Matt B, and the entire Sinking Ship family. Thank you to TV Ontario, as well, my amazing assistants, Holden, Emma, Nathan, Farhan, and Adam, our post super Heidi, our wonderful. VFX and online team. As well, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Maya and Antic, Richard and Jonas. And I'd like to dedicate this award to my wonderful aunt, Paulette, who watched everything I ever cut. Rest in peace. Thank you. Congratulations, Courtney. And now to present the award for Best Production Design Movies for Television and Miniseries, please welcome star of the Parker Andersons, Akil Julian. Production design is the art of putting a huge amount of thought and effort into achieving a look that's visually stunning. Pretty much just like getting ready to present at an award show, you know what I mean? <laughs> the nominees for Best Production Design, movies for television and miniseries are David Hackle, Salt and Pepper, <laughs> Kellen Katsanis, I Was Lorena Bobbitt, Jean Bicot, Within These Walls. <laughs> Ashley Devereaux, Faith Heist. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Thank you, everyone. This is such an honor. It's so great to be celebrated by your peers. Um, I want to thank everyone at the Directors Guild of Canada who voted for me. Um, and I want to thank lifetime for letting us tell the story of salt and pepper in the first place um i'd like to thank Mero van peebles for doing such a great job as a director and the producers uh bob title steve solomos uh shakim compere uh queen latifah and salt and pepper themselves um and i'd like to give a special shout out to my art department uh andy berry andrew lima genevieve long and isabel omard uh who just got behind me all the way on this one and um and I'd like to also thank uh, Liesl Delorier, who was our set decorator, did an amazing job. You and your team were, were killer. Um, 
Thank you to my family, um, and thank you to everyone, staff and executive board of the Directors Guild for supporting filmmakers across Canada. Everyone have a great time tonight. Um, congratulations to all the winners. Um, have fun. Congratulations. And now to announce outstanding directorial achievement in movies for television and miniseries, it's me. <laughs> Thank you, yes, thank you. So, our five nominees are Danishka Esther Hazy, I was Lorena Bobbitt. Anne de Leon, Within These Walls. JB Sugar, Faith Heist. Pat Mills, The Christmas Setup. And Jennifer Liao, A Sugar and Spice Holiday. And the winner is Danishka Esther Hazy. I was Lorena Bobbitt. Congratulations, Danishka. Thank you to the DGC for recognizing I was Lorena Bobbitt. I want to thank Lorena Gallo for trusting me to tell her story. I want to thank producer Jeff Vanderwall and Lifetime's Tia Magini for always supporting my vision. Thank you to my amazing and passionate crew. And I want to express my admiration for Danny Montalvo and Luke Humphrey for their brave and heartbreaking performances. This was a team effort. And finally, thank you to my husband, Jonathan, for always being my biggest supporter through every project. It was an honor to tell this important story. Congratulations again. And now, to present our documentary awards this evening, please welcome a Peabody Award-winning documentarian and the winner of last year's DGC Award for Best Short Film, Tiffany Shun. Oh, a nice, it's nice to get dressed for, for once. <laughs> from an intimate portrait of an artist's process to the queen of carnival, from the nature of gender identity to the nature of life itself. Um, our next four nominees all grapple with subjects worthy of this honor. The nominees for Best Picture Editing Documentary are Steve Taylor, Artificial Immortality. <laughs> Carolyn Christie, Duet for Solo Piano. <laughs> Ashlyn Chin Yi, No Ordinary Man. <laughs> Chris Strikes, Becoming a Queen. Ooh, and the winner is Ashlyn Chin Yi, No Ordinary Man. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Um, it's, again, it's wild to be nominated for editing with such fantastic films and filmmakers, and it's even more bananas to actually win. So um, if you know me, you know how much this means to me. Uh, thanks to my co-director, Chase Joint, for helping me zoom in and out when needed, and everybody who offered their talents and expertise that made it a joy to be in the cutting room with you. So thank you, Mwah. and thanks to everybody um, who's part of this guild and makes this family so fantastic. Thanks. Congratulations, Ashley. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Director and editor, that is a very, very impressive feat. All right, so as filmmakers, we tend to be independent thinkers. And, and the independent thinkers on this year's jury for the Alan King Award for Excellence in Documentary felt so impressed with this year's work, they couldn't limit themselves to just four or five picks. And so, our six nominees for the Alan King Award are... Oh, Renee Blanchard, uh, Le Silence. <laughs> Ashley Chin Yi and Jace Joint, No Ordinary Man. <laughs> Yang Chang, Wuhan, Wuhan. Uh, Michelle Stevenson, Stateless. <laughs> Bishke Ahmed, In the Rumbling Belly of Motherland. <laughs> Sean Horler and Steve Adams, Someone Like Me. 
Oh my God, so many good films. And the winner is... Young Chang, Wuhan, Wuhan. Congratulations, Young. Woo. What a great honor it is to be included among such esteemed filmmakers and their exceptional films. I want to thank the DGC and my fellow Guild members for this recognition, uh, the production companies, Starlight Media and SA Inc., and all my producers, uh, Diane Kwan, Donna Gelodi, Peter Luo, the executive producers, the great Donnie Yen, and Cheng Yang. Um, my editors, Vido Ye Pujou and Zemo Huang, my production team in China for their tireless dedication in telling these stories, uh, the composers from Wuhan, the band named Hua Lun, uh, all the participants for their openness and honesty. Um, there's a, a quote from a 7th century letter written by a Japanese government, government official to uh, their counterpart in China. It goes, we are from different lands and are separated by mountains and waters, yet above us we share the same sky and the same feelings. This really was the intention of the film, to go beyond the headlines and to show a human face, uh, to capture the humanity uh, of the shared experience of this pandemic, um, and to show that uh, in times of need, we can come together and help each other. Thank you. Congratulations, Young. And now, to present the award for Best Sound Editing Dramatic Series, straight off the center on USA Network and Paw Patrol the movie, please welcome Kim Roberts. Good evening. The nominees in our next category are who's who of sound editing. They've been nominated for Oscars and Emmys and won more DGC awards than the Guild could count, literally. The nominees for best sound editing dramatic series are American Gods, The Expanse, Departure, Trickster, Hudson and Rex, Ginny and Georgia. And the winner is Brennan Mercer, oh, no. Janice, they're giving me all the names. No winners yet. They're still thinking about it. Can I choose? I, I have favorites. <laughs> the winner is Trickster. <laughs> On behalf of the entire sound team for Trickster, thank you to the DGC for this wonderful honor. And now to present the award for Best Picture Editing Dramatic Series, please welcome from the CBC hit show Coroner, Tamara Pademski. Everyone. So good editing can propel a narrative and keep an audience captivating, captivated. Bad editing can story your mess up and totally movie your undermine. <laughs> but our next nominees got it right. So the nominees for Best Picture Editing Dramatic Series are Christopher Donaldson, American Gods. What do I do with this? I do this. Jonathan Egan, Ginny and Georgia. Roderick Diogratis, The Expanse. Teresa DeLuca, Coroner. D. Gillian Truster, Pretty Hard Cases. And the winner is Teresa DeLuca, coroner. Congratulations, Teresa. Thank you to the DGC and my colleagues. A huge thank you to the DGC and my colleagues. A huge shout out to Adrian Mitchell, the director of this episode. I just want to thank her for the 20 years of creative collaboration. And I want to also thank her for encouraging me to edit outside the box. Congratulations, Teresa. 
And now to present the award for Best Production Design Dramatic Series, please welcome director of One of Ours, winner of the Special Jury Prize for Canadian Documentary at Hot Docs, Yasmine Mathurin. Time travel, gods, serial killers, starships, and an unstoppable train circling a world frozen by a climate crisis. These are worlds our next five designers conjured into existence and brought into our homes. The nominees for Best Production Design Dramatic Series are Richard Berg, American Gods. <laughs> Stephen Geegan. Mark Steele. <laughs> Richard Berg. <laughs> Philip Barker. <laughs> and the winner is Mark Steele. Congratulations. Thank you for this award, and thank you to the Guild for recognizing the work we did on Umbrella. Uh, I had a really awesome team, and I share this with them. And also thank you to uh, Steve Blackman and Jeff King for giving me the opportunity to uh, work on such a dynamic and creative project. Thank you. Congratulations, Mark. And now to present the award for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Dramatic Series presented by Panavision, please welcome producer of the upcoming Guillermo del Toro film Nightmare Alley and Best Picture Oscar winner, Miles Dale. Thanks. Our next nominees represent the great work that we're seeing in this new golden age of television. Directors who are bringing the full craft and creativity to episodic storytelling. The nominees for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Dramatic Series are Clement Virgo for Grand Army, Tim Southam, American Gods, Ann Wheeler, Firefly Lane, Adrian Mitchell, Coroner. Danielle Sturk, Edgar. And Berkeley Brady for The Secret History of the Wild West. And the winner is Tim Southam, American Gods. Congratulations, Tim. Wow, this is incredible. This is my first DGC award ever. Thank you, DGC. Thank you, DGC jury who watched our episode. Thank you, DGC crew who made our episode. Thank you so much to Dana Alaya Levinson, our star, Love is Love, and some special people who aren't DGC members and really need to be thanked. Celian Massimini, Mark Leo Liberté, Paul Sarasi, Dana Alaya Levinson, Casey Hudecki, Amy Wright, Robert Blackman, and especially, of course, Holly Moyer, who wrote the episode, and David Francis, who walked us through it as a producer. Thanks, Chick Egley. Thanks, Mark Tinker. And thank you so much to my wife, Ida Holmes, Love is love. Thank you, DGC. See you soon. Thank you. And now to present the DGC Discovery Award, please welcome DGC Awards Chair and Producer of The Expanse, Manny Danilon. Thank you. Two things. I want to take a photograph, a panoramic of this so that we never have to do this again. Usually there's about 500 plus people at this event. I'm shocked, number one. Number two, it takes a village and I just wanna thank Ian Gillespie and his clan of Mary, everyone, for putting this together. I'm just a name. Thank you. Uh, good evening and bonsoir. In 2021, even in the face of COVID restrictions and pandemic lockdowns, nearly 350 productions submitted for consideration for tonight's DGC awards. We did 17,000 tests on The Expanse, season six. I celebrated my 100th test last week. They gave me a Corona cake. Corona cake, we cut it all out. 
This is a testament to the commitment and ingenuity of our industry. There was 235 TV productions, 135 films, 138 members nominated. What a triumph in these times. But here at the Guild, we also wish to honor our country's emerging filmmakers on just their first or second features. Some are members, others we hope, future members of the Guild family. And with that, the finalists for the DGC Discovery Awards are Danae Goulet, Night Riders. <laughs> Kaba Nabatenen, Sin La Havana. Brenton Hannum, Wildwood, Wildhood, and Philippe Gregoire, uh, Noise of Engines. And the winner is, drum roll, Denis, Night Riders, congratulations. Thank you so much for this award. It really means so much coming from creatives in our incredible screen industry and whose work I greatly admire. Thank you so much for this honor. I'd also like to share this with the entire Night Raiders team, the elders, the producing team, the incredible cast and crew who dedicated so much of themselves to make Night Raiders a reality. Thank you so much for your work. And I'd also like to acknowledge the important and critical work that the DGC does under the leadership of Warren Sonoda and Tracy Deer to be tireless advocates, fighting for better representation in the industry, underrepresented voices, and overall a more inclusive industry. Thank you so much for your tireless work on behalf of all of us. Kidanaskom Dinawal. Congratulations, Danny. And now to present the award for Best Sound Editing Feature Film, please welcome CSA-nominated director of the film Queen of the Morning Calm, Gloria Kim. It's so nice to be here. It's just so nice to see all your faces tonight. Um, as audiences make their way back into theaters, they're not just seeing movies differently, they're hearing them differently. And the difference is never greater than when you're in the hands of a sound team at the absolute top of their game, like these teams nominated tonight. So the nominees for Best Sound Editing feature film are Sugar Daddy, <laughs> Death of a Ladies Man, All My Puny Sorrows, Funny Boy, <laughs> Paw Patrol, <laughs> and the winner is All My Puny Sorrows, Jane Tattersall, Martin Gwynne Jones, Brennan Mercer, Sue Fawcett, and Brent Pickett. Congratulations to the team. Our sound team, Martin Gwynne Jones, Brennan Mercer, Sue Fawcett, and myself, thank the DGC for continuing these awards and fostering a sense of community even as we remain apart. Thank you so much to writer, director, and fellow DGC member Mike McGowan for this beautiful film, and to DGC members Michelle Schomburg and Ar Orly Bloom for their beautiful picture editing that created such fantastic opportunities for sound. To Tyler Levine, congratulations and thank you. It was such a pleasure to work on this film. We had such a strong sense of collaboration and we all felt the creative pull of Miriam Taves running through this tremendous realization of her novel. I hope you'll all see the film. And now to present the award for Best Picture Editing Feature Film, please welcome from Kim's Convenience and her new CBC series, Strays, Nicole Power. Yeah. Our next nominees span from a twisted comedy to a delayed coming of age story, from deep character drama to terrifying sci-fi horror, and the editors of these films show every bit as much versatility. The nominees for Best Picture Editing Feature Film are Michelle Semberg, Orly Buham, All My Puny Sorrows, Duff Smith, Stanleyville, 
Brian Atkinson, Islands. Anthony Scott Burns, Come True. Sean Garrity, I propose we never see each other again. And the winner is... Michelle Semberg and Orly Booham, All My Puny Sorrows. Congratulations, Michelle and Orly. Hi, everyone. Wish this could have been in person, but here we are. I guess if you're watching this, it means we won. Yay, thank you. Uh, we want to give a special thanks to Michael McGowan for bringing us onto this project and trusting us with his vision in such a collaborative way. During such an isolating time, we experimented with a hybrid edit, both in person and over Zoom, and we think it worked out great. Mentorship is something that's really important to us, and we want to give a special shout out to our mentor, Raju Gratis, who always has our backs. Special thanks to our assistant, Gabby Arno, who tirelessly worked from home. And thank you to our producers and all the incredible creative teams who we think really elevated this film to another level. And thanks to our families who let us play our speakers really loud all the time. <laughs> it's been so meaningful to work on a film that explores mental health in such an honest way at a time when it's so prevalent. So thank you so much for this honor and thank you to the DGC. Thank you. Bye. We killed it. Congratulations, Michelle and Orly. And now to present the award for Best Production Design Feature Film. Please welcome the CSA nominee and DGC production designer from the film Trigger Point, Sean Bria. Good evening, everybody. Whether it's deep in the woods of Newfoundland, inside a New York City publishing house, or Kanawaki at the height of the Oka crisis, the big screen gives production designers a vast canvas to paint their world. Our next nominees made use of every inch. The nominees for Best Production Design Feature Film are Zazu Myers, The Broken Hearts Gallery, Andre Chamberlain, Beans, Jason Clark, The Righteous, and Mario Hervieux, The Best Sellers. And the winner is André Chamberlain for Beans. Congratulations, André. We'd like to accept this award on behalf of André, and he would like to ask me to thank Tracy Deer, Anne-Marie Jean-Lilin, and Meredith Vuchnik. Congratulations, André. Congratulations to André. And now to present the award for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Feature Film, presented by Streamland Media, Please welcome one of the greats of Canadian screen acting from Videodrome to American Gods, Sonia Smits. Hi. For 20 years, the DGC Awards have honored Canada's most daring and accomplished directors in feature film. Any of the filmmakers nominated here tonight would be honored to be part of that group, and I, they have earned that honor. But now just one will join the ranks. The nominees for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Feature Film are Wendy Morgan, Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Michael McGowan, All My Puny Sorrows. Mark O'Brien, The Righteous. Jeffrey St. Jules, Cinema of Sleep. Anthony Scott Burns, Come True. And Jesse Anthony, Brother I Cry. And the winner is Wendy Morgan, uh, Sugar, Sugar Daddy. Daddy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Sugar Daddy was supposed to be called atrocious. Uh, we love the idea of Atrocious because this film is really about the dark, weird, sort of atrocious side of being a woman in a way. And uh, a lot of women came together and we all brought that out and uh, we really delved deep and it was wonderful. Uh, thank you, Kelly McCormick, for your script and your artistry and your passion. You made this film happen. Thank you, Laurie Lazinski and Lauren Grant for producing this and 
putting so much time and energy into a passion project like this. And Christine Armstrong for your edit, Kristen Fieldhouse for your beautiful light, Foxtrot, Helen for your incredible music that needs to be heard. Um, Mara Ziegler for dressing Darren like such a weirdo and Jessica Jerome for being such an artist and giving Darren such a unique space, a unique space. So I'm missing lots of other people who worked on this project, but thank you to everyone. Well, folks, that's a wrap for the 20th annual anniversary edition of the Directors Guild of Canada Awards. Congratulations once again to the winners and all the nominees. Keep telling great stories, and we'll see you in Vancouver next year. Thanks.